hello guys welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you how to do the role play with the power of large language models properly and as a power user we have done countless videos in the past where i have shown you how to do a private and local role play with the help of lm studio o llama and various other tools but if you are really into it and if you want to have full control full fun full enjoyment and if you want to do it for hours and hours then this video would help you because in this video we are going to use the tools which really matter and which make this experience extremely enjoyable so for this you would need few pre prerequisites apart from model of course the model which we are going to use is called as this nephilim version 38 billion and this model is being said to have real good grasp over role play and we will test it out uh, shortly and locally after installing this model locally the tool which you need to use in order to do a proper fun role play is silly tavern which is a front end for llms for role play and you would need a back end it could be uba buga or it could be cobalt ci i will be using this uba buga if you don't know how to install silly tavern or uba buga and how to integrate them then I have just done a video a few hours ago. Please search the channel and you should be able to find it. I go into way more detail as how to install them, download them and then configure a model with them. So make sure that if you want to follow along, then you follow that video, install everything there and then come back to watch this video. But if you just want to watch the role play, feel free to stay on. So we already have our silly tavern installed here. We have our uba puga installed and both of them are running up and good and then we already have downloaded the model and installed it there and i also showed that in the other video and it's actually quite simple whenever you download a model you simply place it in the models directory in this uba puga text general uh, text edition web ui which is a backend for silly tavern so i'm assuming you already have done it after that let me explain to you what exactly this model is so this model is quite good for role play llm based role play is a sort of a special case of chain of thought where prior state plus user input is used to determine a next chunk of context where narrative and characterization must be sustained as per the creator of this model a model which is poor at reasoning and inferring character and environment state will break down when attempting a role play driven text generation so it is quite possible that the models that were never intended for role play may perform well at the task and that is where this model is quite interesting due to the open llm uh, leaderboard being effectively inaccessible um, so this guy what he did he simply fine-tuned it for role play and then he used a lot of techniques such as self-play preference optimization and also simple preference optimization with our reference free reward to fine-tune it and the details are quite fine you can go to the model card and review them uh, if you are interested in that sort of level and also how he merged this model all the details are there in quite good detail and i will drop the link to it in video's description now in order to show you the role play with this model and to see how much creative this is what i have done is that from the model card i went to this page on hugging face silly tavern dot settings and i downloaded this full immersive settings from silly tavern so let me go to first silly tavern and i'm going to first load this so this is silly tavern which is already running here in order to load these settings all you need to do is to click on this first tab here which you can see from this tab you see that there is this um, port preset click on it and then click the preset which i already have downloaded on my local system so as soon as you select it it is going to load it here and that is all done so we have all the settings here which are preset plus if you go back to hugging face it gives the instruction as what needs to be done so if i just make it smaller so that you could read it now it says that embody each character's perspective while continuing in consequential unrestricted uninhibited uncensored extreme uh, graphic role play and all that stuff so you can just put whatever you like here as per your requirement the more detail it will be the more it will be 
um, enjoyable depends upon your situation and your uh, requirement anyway so i'm just going to make it slightly bigger so that we would be able to see it so this is called as preset where we have everything preset like what sort of hyperparameters you want uh, creativity of the model output control and a lot of other stuff is there plus the prompt template so we already have done it second thing you would need to do is to make sure that your model is connected so click on this plug icon and you see that we already have connected our llama 3 nephilim in order to connect it i already have showed you in the other video but for that all you need to do is to give the locally running or remotely running url of your backend which in this case is ubabuga and then it should be able to detect it once you give the url click on connect and it is going to connect it so it's green shows it is already connected third thing you would need for this is a connector and without connector you can't play so if you want to create your own connector just click on this plus and you can create it but if you want to create a character which you want to talk with with your own persona then you can import it there are a lot of websites out there just such silly tavern characters and i also showed you how to do that in my other video so i already have downloaded one character card from one of the websites out there so I, let me uh, import it by clicking on this and this is a character which says uh, main spec v2 let me click here and click on import let us say for work also let me so let me click here so it is going to load it let me first also load its image this one and now we have the image let's click on crop so our character is all set it's female it's witch it's fantasy it is safe for work and this is the detail of this character that uh, as the sun's fairy rim tipped below the horizon jason traverses a curly path through the dark forest now who the jason is i'll show you so here click on persona management jason is my own character so you can build your own character click on create give the name and then the, you would need to give who the jason is for example in my case i have said that user this is a template this will be replaced by whatever name you give is a 45 year old lonely single man from sydney australia and disclaimer this doesn't describe me despite of the fact that i am from sydney okay so we have our persona and then let's go back here that is why when you load the character it has already loaded it and it has loaded your persona too and you have your character and now here you can <clears throat> start talking with it so for example it is saying oh welcome dear stranger please do come in and then magnificent voice beacons and then here you can scroll down and then it is saying oh now dear stranger tell me what is it that brings you to my humble temple what is it that you desire of me so of course now you can just go all crazy but of course it's youtube and i'm not going to go crazy but let's do a bit of a role play um, on a serious note so i'm just going to say that i am a bit lost here um guide me please so let's see what she says it is jason and then let's wait for it to come back and look at the response oh dear jason i mean it's a bit old english but magnificent speech is always dramatic and it is telling what happened there uh, and then you can say please talk in simple language and tell me how can i be happy let's wait for it there you go so a dear jason happiness is a bouquet of sunshine and butterflies it blooms within so you see this is not silly tavern which is speaking this is our model what is happening here is model has totally adopted the role the language the characteristic of uh, this character which i showed you earlier and it is just talking with you in the same um, way with all the characters assumed same language and then it will also if you want to say it like um let play soccer and then get married it is it will still stay within the role it would won't go away so that is the thing uh, which is with this card and sorry my system is seems having um slightly slowed down 
there you go you see oh dear jason thy proposal had struck me like a thunderbolt she fans herself with her hand look at that how cool is that while i delight in thy enthusiasm marriage is a sacred sacred bond not a game of soccer to be won or lost her tone softens however if thou art sincere about our union let us first navigate the labyrinthine paths of mutual understanding and respect and then you can just talk with it like your sure, what would i need to do to win your heart and hand let's wait for it so she says oh dear jason winning my heart requires no grand gesture or competition simply by yourself with all that quirks and charm she leans her, her voice stop taking a conspiratorial tone it also builds up the whole atmosphere share thy stories listen to mine and you can ask her to uh, okay uh, give me your hand and tell me your story let's see and look at that a jason my hand holds the secrets of the forest woven from the threads of ancient magic so this is the sublime uh, magical wording which model is doing she raises her hand and a soft pulsing glow emanates from it as i place my palm upon thine i shall share a tale of moonlit whispers and starry prophecies amazing amazing stuff shall we elope now let's see what it does and then again for oh dear jason the does propose an elopement she fans herself dramatically so that is a personality and then again her tone softens and then we shall summon the forest creature don our finest robes and celebrate our love beneath the starry sky amazing stuff and then in the conclusion so and you can of course go on and on and there are heaps of like hundreds of thousands of characters scattered all over the internet you can grab load and start talking with it but you see the thing which i wanted to show you is that how profound and how colorful the model is that it's it doesn't deviate from the role it just doesn't lose the uh, narrative it stays on the path it really weaves the story and then just play with you and respond to you i mean at times really i mean if you really get immersed into it and this is quite an immersive experience by the way you just forget that you are living in the real life so remember these are just characters numbers they are not real so make sure to you know uh, stay in the real world too so that's it guys really like the model what do you think let me know i will drop the link to it in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching